Hey yo, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the man, the myth, the book. I don't know why I keep on saying the man, the myth, the legend. Because that's Uncle Karius' book. I just keep on saying it. I don't know why. But yeah, we're gonna fight the Void Leviathan right out the back. Straight out the back. Straight out the jump. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Because the Void Leviathan has been making a lot of noises. It's been telling me to leave. Like, it ain't fun. So you're gonna get your ass clapped. No homo shit. Beacon of Eternal Abyss. How do we make this? What are we missing? What possibly could we be missing? Void Essence and something Fragment. I know how to get the Fragment. Easy. Nope, that's not it. Easy. I don't know how to get the Essence though. Was it Void Essence? So it's not a craftable thing. So what I would assume... How we get it... Is down in hell... I have no idea, but yeah, we're gonna fight Void Leviathan. Probably, uh. Providence. And. Probably SAX? We'll see. But yeah, let me figure out how to get this stuff. I already forgot what it was called. Beacon. It was called. Void Essence. Alright, I got what we needed. I think it's called Pyroplasm. Wait, no, we already know that it's called that. But we're supposed to do an event called the Dawn of the Void first. Which requires us to make a Dark Pearl, and that require requires a Pyroplasm. Boom. Dark Pearl has been achieved. I'm excited to see this uh, new event. Hopefully I don't need to be near my NPCs. Because I'm going over here. No, I have a teleporter that leads here. I don't know why I didn't just take that. It's all good. I'm assuming we do it at night. Or does it matter? Yes, it is at night. Sweet. Boom. Let's do it. You feel a wave of cold rush over you. Brr. You can hear me freezing. <laughs> Alright, let's uh let's take on these this new event. So we got immolators. Void elementals. Okay. I'm gonna use this gun. This gun can hit like everything. Try my, try my best to not use uh books bullet hell. Uh, because it seems to be making people mad that I use it all the time. Let's just think about it like this, alright? Me, you guys telling me to stop using Boop's Bullet Hell is like telling Superman to not fly or use his laser beams. It's like, it's a part of him. I tell him Batman don't use a battering or use his detective abilities. It's a part of him. Look, I started using it just by default again. It's one of my best weapons, it hits everything. So I'm sorry if I keep on defaulting to using it. I also use it when I feel endangered. Kinda as like a like a backup option if I feel scared and then I whip it out and it kills everything. As you can see. We're supposed to be getting the essence from these guys. Void jelly. I'm gonna drink that. Who don't mind me some void jelly? Let's use a flamethrower. Flamethrower probably be better here. Is this a flamethrower? I don't think this is considered a flamethrower. It's definitely not a flamethrower. I had the one that was a flamethrower, and this one was not it. It was like the elemental something. <laughs> Fire starter? I don't know. I don't use the flamethrower for one reason. It's because I have the fungalo sphere. Great weapon name, by the way. I will always say that every time we talk about the fungalo sphere. Look at this thing. This thing is beautiful. Is this just like an event? Like a... Jesus Christ. <laughs> I got fucking insta-gibbed. All right. Um, I don't know what the hell is I, I was talking about. I think I was talking about, I was going to compare it to like the eclipse and the other thing that is in the eclipse. But yeah, there you go. We should have enough. We better have enough. I killed a lot of things. Yes, we do. Okay. We got Void Jelly. We got an elemental banner. That That is the only thing we got from that banner wise. But let's take a look here. We got this right here. Void Stone can be placed. Okay, it's like an ore, I'm assuming. Uh, it emits strange energy. Void Lantern. Increase the brightness during the dawn of the void. Interesting. Extremely interesting. That costs a lot. <laughs> that costs a lot to make right there. Let's make the beacon, though. Boom. Beacon of the Eternal Abyss. I'm ready. I am ready for this. Take the teleporter. Take the teleporter. Don't worry about all the noises. They're just... To scare me they're trying to scare me off okay night time again let's do it 
Whoa! <laughs> Alright, you see how I defaulted to this weapon really quickly? I did not expect that to happen. Jesus Christ! Please tell me, did they use it when I used it? I hope it didn't. <laughs> oh my god, it did. Alright, well... Jesus, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I don't want to do the invasion again. That means I have to go get pyroplasm to do the event. And then I have to do the event to go get... Oh my god. Alright, so it didn't take me that long to get anything. Because I did have like... 25 26 of the void essence so we can't fight it again let's do it well look, get these hearts you never be too safe get the hearts all right ready set what's gonna kill this boss the fastest i don't know go let's try the fungal sphere all right i'm already having troubles reaching the boss oh my god that did so much damage that shit did 150 in one hit this uh boss's what is it called spawn item oh my god i'm about to die i would just dodge better but i don't even think dodging oh no wait can we do it Whew. we did it oh my god and he tried to kill me last second what's up what's going on here no i don't seek power no i'm good i'm pretty powerful i don't really need to seek it but i killed you there should be no gimmick I don't want to ask why. I'm kind of scared. But yeah, for a boss that strong, this is a pretty strong boss. I mean, it wasn't that bad the second go around, but if it can do a lot of damage so quickly, the uh, spawner for it should definitely be reusable. You know what I'm saying? Much like Calamity has a lot of reusable spawners. I feel like 90% of re uh, spawners post Moon Lord should be reusable. That. Or they do what the juice mod does. Easy to craft and they give you like five. Is that it? What's going on here? It's awfully quiet. You're going to hear all the background noise. I don't know if I should leave here. <laughs> what is that? Oh, okay. Back to normal. We got a couple of uh, hard enemies spawning in though, as you can see. But yeah, let's see what's in the treasure bag. Ooh, extinction bow. Sweet. We got the ranged weapon. Ooh, that's looking pretty good. I don't know, this is pretty good too. <laughs> She's like a million arrows. But yeah, we got the expert drop here. Warming, warding amulet of despair. Extinction lasers ray down from the sky. Greatly increased life regen when under 20% life. 10% increased crit chance. Reveals location of treasure. Um, isn't this one also from Elements of Woken? This one might be better, honestly. That one might be better. I think, yeah, we'll wear that. Oh, that treasure thing is kind of going to get annoying. Uh, is there a way I can turn that off? No, it's fine. <laughs> but uh, we got that. We got the extinction bow, sweet. And we got the void leviathan heart material. It grows with power. As you can see, I made this cape right here to help me out. The cape of the survivor. I'm gonna take that off for now. Honestly, let's just do this. <laughs> the cape of survivor is pretty good. I had that just in case I died or take damage over 150, something like that. Is this the one? I don't know what this one does. I thought that, that was a thing that like revived you if you almost got one shotted or some shit. But um, we also that's it, right? I think that was it. Was that it? <laughs> this chaotic flare? Is this the other item? Oh, this. We were looking at this. Oops. <laughs> I forgot already. I was told that some of these boots are really good. Some of the boots from uh, Elements Awoken are really good. Maybe even better than Calamity Boots? I don't know. I'd have to put them to the test. But I was told, like, a lot of the bosses are supposed to be fought wearing their boots. You know, to match the speed of the bosses and stuff. But, uh, these are a bunch of developer items. Okay. They better be OP. The gun that shot time. Is that a Gungeon reference? I don't know. Uh, but yeah, as you see, there's a good bit of stuff here. I don't know how to get this. Essence of Elements. I think we craft that. But, uh, we'll hold on to this, okay? Because we need to fight the Le Void Leviathan like a lot more times if we want to craft anything from him. But we'll hold on to that stuff. Hold on to that. Oh, Chaotic Flare. Let's not forget about this. That's the next boss right there. Summons Azana. And then there's Dying Aura. So, yeah, let's go. Let's just stuff this in there. Now, this Extinction Bow. 
No, let's use it over the jumbo. Shoots a lot faster than the jumbo, and it's not even reforged either. So I'm wondering if we put a reforge on it, will it be god tier? Sure. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead. Let's fight a let's fight a not too tough boss. Wait, how do I make this? We're gonna fight SAX. We need meteorite. Are you kidding me? <laughs> All right, here's my uh, story with meteorite. Wait. There was a certain item I was trying to get from Meteorite. Uh, it was a drop and an enemy spawned there. Why do I keep typing SAX? Arm cannon. It was a drop from Meteorite. No, it was a drop from an enemy that spawned at Meteorite. For the uh, Sharpshooter Soul, I think it's what it's called, is this weapon right here. Vega Phaser. Very hard weapon to get because the enemy that spawns in that barely spawns in. Which is... Uh, makes it really hard to get especially when using a zerg and a million other enemies spawning it's from thorium so like that's, there's not much else to say i've explained everything in great detail right there it's just i'm having trouble getting that weapon to craft that item a sharpshooter soul is definitely gonna make us you know get even stronger than we are already but yeah we're gonna fight sax off and i think we're gonna just end the episode off on that note I'm a little already past my time when I'm supposed to get this episode out. My sleep schedule, if you guys don't know, and don't follow me on Discord slash so watch my streams. Sleep schedule is very bad, okay? My sleep schedule is extremely bad, and I'm doing my best to fix it. I pretty much fixed it already. I'm up at, like, the time I'm usually up. I used to wake up always at, like, 11 or 12, and... I used to wake up... 11 or 12 and then just you know upload or record a video render it upload it that was my usual schedule but now i just i've just been up till like six or seven eight in the morning and i still am up but i've been taking a lot of naps i don't know if that's a good instead of just completely fixing my schedule sleep schedule i don't know if it's good or not that i'm just you know taking naps all the time <laughs> but i take to like two to four hour naps I'm still getting like my eight hours of sleep is just in like bursts and I mean it's been working for me even though it's, I've only been like two days into this new type of sleep schedule I'm doing um, it's been working for me but I don't know if that's the healthiest thing I figured out like I'm not I don't feel tired like, I'll be honest I feel a little bit tired but it's been working I'm up at regular times again and when I say regular times I mean somewhat regular times because I am usually up at like 8 in the morning, <laughs> 6 in the morning, around that time. Uh, but like, what my schedule has been recently... Oh, I didn't pick up the bag. I didn't secure the bag. What my schedule has been recently is... Let me try and think. I fall asleep around like 10. Let's start with that. I fall asleep around like 10. 10 p.m. I fall asleep for like 2 to 4 hours. Wake up around either 12 or 2 yesterday i think i woke up at 12 or 1 maybe even 2 actually but i've been waking up at 2 and then i just stay up and then today i stayed up till 8 and i slept until like 1 like i'm still getting my sleep in there but you know like i said it's in like big chunks <laughs> which i don't like i said i don't know if it's healthy but if i'm not feeling well I'll, you know, I'll fix it. I'll fix it. I'll get to fixing it. Let's get one of my low-key favorite weapons here. And it's the Super Missile Launcher. I like this weapon a lot. Is this the same weapon I'm thinking of? I don't know. Notice how we had 700 Platinum. <laughs> Good old 700 Platinum. Missile Cannon. This gun is awesome. If I remember correctly, like I said. I don't know if I remember correctly. Let's get rid of Scorpio. I really don't like Scorpio. <laughs> This weapon just, I haven't been feeling this gun. Ooh, I don't know what that throat noise was. Y'all heard that? I think this is the weapon I'm thinking of. Let's test it out on our boss before we end off the episode. Because I'll be honest, that Void Leviathan took a little bit out of me. Uh, I didn't expect to get clapped so fast. I never do expect to cla get clapped so fast. Uh, no homo shit. I don't know what boss to fight. Nah, not that boss. Let's just do... I don't know. Just do this. Oh god, it's bugging out. 
This is how you know we're at the end of a playthrough is when shit starts bugging out. <laughs> I gotta carry coins on me now and stop putting coins inside the bank. Oh, it's still bugging out. Oh, man. What about, can I buy from you? Oh, jeez. There's too many coins in here. Can we make Perium coins? We can't make a Perium coin. Okay. Let's make a bunch of Perium coins. <laughs> when, there's, when there's too many coins in here, that's when it starts bugging out. Okay. Let's do it. Let's make it nighttime. Do this since I did die over here. And let's do it. Let's test this baby out. It should be very fast. This thing is honestly better than the Scorpio. It's a lot harder. And a little bit faster than the Scorpio too. But yeah. That's going to end off the episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to try and get back on schedule when it comes to regular episodes. Like posted. Every day. Nearly every day. Because there's a lot of other series that I'm working on. And I want to post those. But yeah, I will see y'all in the next video. There'll probably be another video up today that is in Terraria too. So enjoy it. Woo! -hoo. Hey, yo, what's up, everyone? So I do have a Twitch where I live stream a bunch of content. I do a lot of viewer games. I stream a lot of Terraria. And obviously, the stream series, they start on Twitch and then they eventually end up YouTube. So make sure to check that out. Link will be in description. It will also be right here on the screen. Uh, and I also have a Twitter and a Discord. Check the description. Those are usually at the bottom of the description. Twitter and Discord is where I notify people that I'm streaming. And I also give, you know, updates or stuff like when mod reviews are going to come out. Or, you know, why there's no video today or something like that. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Peace out. Peace out.